Let's play a little game. Before you continue with this video, take a few seconds to comment the name of the first three tech giants that come to your mind. Done? Great. We bet you included Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, or Mark Zuckerberg. But in today's video, we're going to discuss tech icons whom you have probably never encountered in the tech industry. Starting off, Linus Torvalds. Replace the S with the X and you'll probably have an idea who he is. Linus Torval is the creator of Linux operating system, which dominates the software of many computers today. Torvalds was born on the 28th of December 1969 to Finnish journalists Anna and Nils Torvalds and got his name from the Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling. His interest in computers started at an age of 10 when he began using his grandfather's Commodore VIC-20. The kernel, Linux, was created as a Unix clone in 1991, when he was unable to afford the original software. It was also used as his master's project, which went under the title Linux, a portable operating system. Since then, the project has gone on to be used in all 500 of the world's top supercomputers at 2020, being deployed by NASA at similar agencies for space operations, and is an integral layer of the Android operating system used in billions of devices today. The open source nature of Linux's architecture allows some of the world's biggest tech companies, such as Huawei, Google, Samsung, Intel, and Nvidia, to contribute to its development. Torvalds is not only credited for developing Linux, he is also the brains behind Git, a tool that is widely used in software development. Larry Wall is up next. Wall is the founder of the Perl programming language. He is known for propagating his three great virtues of being a programmer, which are laziness, impatience, and hubris. The Perl programming language was instrumental in the growth of big tech enterprises such as Yahoo and Amazon in their early days. And while it is no longer a gem among languages, Perl can still be used for purposes such as web development, scripting system administration tasks, text-to-speech applications, text manipulation, and a variety of others. Wall was born in September 1954 and designed Perl in 1987. Next up, James Gosling. James Gosling invented the Java programming language in 1995. It was an offshoot of work by a team of Sun Systems engineers known as the Green Team. Initially, Java was designed for use in home electronic products such as cable television, but it was later deemed applicable to the more advanced requirements of internet programming. Java started out with different names. It went from Green Talk to Oak, then to the final and now popular name Java. For Gosling and his team, the motivation behind Java was to design something that was simple yet robust, enough to handle different tasks. His education as a computer scientist was also influential in his development of the programming language. As a postgrad at Carnegie Mellon University, Gosling wrote a VAX emulator that enabled the Pascal P code to run on a DEC VAX computer system. You can now find Java in a great deal of applications like in mobile devices, run on Android, large corporate enterprises, app development, and games. Next up, Rasmus Lerdorf. Lerdorf is the creator of the programming language PHP. He was born in 1968 in Greenland, grew up in Denmark and Canada, and was awarded a degree in systems engineering at the University of Waterloo. Lerdorf initiated the PHP language in 1995 as a personal homepage project. It was now evolved into a reliable front-end program for small to mid-sized businesses. It is especially used in web pages built around WordPress, and its modified version is retained by Facebook for some of its purposes. Since the language itself adapts a lot from popular programs, it's easy to learn from experienced programmers and demands little in transition costs. Lerdoff occasionally shows up at open source conferences around the world, so if you're into such spaces, you might be lucky to meet him. Richard Matthew Stallman This long-haired gentleman is an advocate of openness in software development. Under the GNU project Stallman, or RMS, as he is popularly known, campaigns for people to have access to software, be able to study, modify, and distribute them in a way that fits their particular needs. For this purpose, the GNU operates a general public license, or the GPL, under which programmers can have free reign in using software. Stallman also founded the Free Software Foundation, which coordinates projects that enable people to use programs under liberal circumstances. He is a highly remarkable individual in hacker and academic communities. He has won several awards, including the MacArthur Genius Grant and the Grace Murray Hopper Award for his contributions to software innovation. He was equally well regarded as a student indulging in computers and science-related subjects from an early age. If you have been waiting to hear a figure with a knack for controversy and wild innovation, Stallman is certainly your guy. Guido Van Rossum Guido Van Rossum developed Python, the world's most popular programming language. It started as a distraction in 1989, when he had wanted something to occupy him during Christmas. It was first 
released in 1991 and has transformed into an everyday tool for developers. You'll find Python in multiple environments, including finance, gaming, science, education, and a ton of other areas you never expected it could be. In 1999, Van Rossum announced some of the principles which have guided the evolution of Python today. He wanted it to be accessible, so he made it open source. He wanted a shallow learning curve and designed it in plain English. The inventor has worked at several of the big names in tech, including Google, Dropbox, and Microsoft. Barney Strostrup. Strostrup was born in Denmark in December 1950, and he is the creator of the popular programming language C++. His invention, which is widely used today, was a derivative of C. He owes his inspiration to Simula, which is a language developed in the 1960s. C++ is the go-to resource for object-oriented programming and has found its way into areas like communication, games, graphical user interfaces, finance, and scientific computation. Barna Stostrup has continued to contribute his expertise to the evolution of C++ through his membership on the ISO C++ Standards Committee. He's currently a visiting professor at Columbia University and has won several awards for his works. And that's it for today's video, guys. Which of the above persons invented your programming language? Comment their name below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.